So just before you start authoring your own assessment, have a look at this unique group of tips and tricks and do's and don'ts we've put together for you. So when wording your questions, make sure they are clear and concise. Make sure they don't contain any ambiguities. Your question should contain most of the wording and should not be negative if possible. The answers of the questions should be equally likely, approximately the same length, internally consistent and in relative order. There are nine types of questions which typically comprise a knowledge smart assessment. When designing your assessment, make sure that you get a good balance of different styles of questions. Incorporate live skills, which are task-based questions, as well as theoretical or knowledge-based questions. With the task-based questions, the candidates or assessment takers would need access to and use the appropriate software. Knowledge-based questions in turn can be answered without the direct use of the software. Let's look at the two general categories of questions, objective questions and subjective questions. Here are a few examples of objective type questions. Matching, multiple choice, pick list or true or false. There are many tips available online when authoring multiple choice questions. Our advice is, is to keep the number of options consistent and use wrong answer choices to highlight common misconceptions. The correct answer should be in a varied position. For example, not option A each and every time. When you want to cover more content in one question, a matching test question is your best option. We advise you to consider partial scoring when some, but not all of the responses are correct. True or false questions can be easy to guess, so don't include too many of these in your assessment. Now we do have a 50 character limit on some of the answer options, but don't let this limit you. Sometimes you just have to reorder the way you ask the question. If you really want to know what your employees have learned, have them correct false statements to make them true. Now over to subjective type questions. These are short answer essay type questions, extended response essay questions, problem solving or performance test item. Don't be afraid to incorporate an essay style question. Just use them to assess key skills, such an ability to collaborate, analytical thinking and creativity. Just keep in mind, these types of questions must be manually marked. You always want to aim for a ratio of about three to one between the available question pool and the number of assigned question. Best practice tends to indicate that an assessment of about 20 to 25 questions is optimal. Try and give your employees or candidates three questions for each learning target that you are trying to test. That way they are given multiple opportunities to demonstrate mastery. Incorporate screenshots and image files or even short videos to enhance the effectiveness of some of the questions. Just remember there is a file size limit of below 8 megabytes. Training tags will play an important role in results analysis later on. Therefore, do give these careful consideration and make them as detailed as needed. It is a really good idea to include coaching notes linked to your questions. Coaching notes shares best practice on how to approach a specific question. Coaching notes may consist of screenshots, PDFs, videos, or even plain text. Use the links to learning area to link the actual training tags of each question to learning files. These may be in-house training material files, third-party training tools, or any combination of the above. Lastly, remember to preview your questions to make sure they are displaying as expected. For any further support with authoring Knowledge Smart assessments, please remember to visit us at support.knowledgesmart.net.